ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Indie Brew, the only show on the internet dedicated to two of mankind's finest achievements, drinking and gaming. Today we are looking at KCCO Black Lager. This is from The Chive. Found it actually just in a typical beer market. Uh, didn't think I'd actually be able to. This is by Red Hook, and it comes in at 5.1 ABV. And we are just going to look at Vagant, I believe is how you say it. I think it's French, so the E at the end wouldn't be pronounced. Uh, it is a procedurally generated dungeon crawl, kind of like Magicite with Spelunky and some RPG elements thrown in. It's, it's quite funky. It's also in very early alpha, uh, and it's by Nuke9. So we're going to get our pour. I can already smell it. It's an oh, I mean, I, I really can. It's an overwhelmingly coffee smell, which considering it's a black lager, isn't surprisingly very bubbly. I wish I could show you guys. I'm gonna get a nice, the nose of it, as they say in the wine industry. Hmm. There's like no discernible smell. There was when I opened it. That's weird. That is weird. Well, <laughs> we'll see how it tastes in just a moment. All right, so we are Back. So this is Vagant. As you saw, this is not indicative of the entire full version. Two things right off the bat. Number one, I think the game looks spectacular. I mean, it's it's beautiful. Uh, this is, you know, very early alpha, as you saw in the little placard there. Um, so yeah, first things first, it looks beautiful. I love the kind of pastoral artwork that it's got going for it. Very unique. Really makes me feel like I'm kind of in this fantasy world, which is important. Immersive gaming is something that I think is important. And of course, as always in these Indie Brew uh, episodes, the music is definitely a stickling, stickling point for me, a stickler, if you will. And I honestly think this is some of the best music I've heard in a video game in a long time. Um, I, I don't know, it just puts me at ease and it, it continues to draw me in, so I, I really like that. Um, so we're going to go. There are two characters, and there does seem to be a third, but I don't know how you unlock that. Um, so I'm going to take out the, the guy, um, and we'll probably die, and we'll have more than enough time to um, take out the, the lady. Uh, the guy is a melee guy. We have one affinity point at the start. This is There are some RPG elements. This game reminds me a little bit of Chasm meets Final Fantasy Tactics. You can see the little guy in the, in the bottom, and he really makes me think of a, a vagrant story or Final Fantasy Tactics. That's, that art style seems very FFT to me. And I, I love Final Fantasy Tactics, one of my favorite games, so it gets me in, in the nostalgia, as it were. There's also a map, as you can see, um, and we have some equipment and some health and some other attributes. And we have one affinity point, so we can level up Sword, Holy, or Defense. Um, I'm going to take Defense... And I actually haven't. Um, okay, so it's down. It, it's down on the uh, the arrow key when there's nothing else. So as you can see, we have a, a you know a little sword attack here, and oh, uh, there are some enemies that like to hide. Um, and from what I've heard, uh, there are mimics, and the enemies are very fast. So the the game definitely reminds me of, Sp of old school Spelunky before the HD remake, which I really like the HD remake. Um, but the art style reminds me a little bit of old school Spelunky. So, obviously, tons of enemies. Obviously, arrow traps, which is another reason why it reminds me of Spelunky. Um, there are... Ooh, scroll of map, magic mapping. I imagine that's going to help us out. And we can kind of charge our attack and, and, you know, delay it. And, of course, we have the defense, which I think will help us out in the long run. So, uh, spikes are instant death. Yet another reason why I... And, why I think that uh, this reminds me a lot of Spelunky, much like perhaps a Delver or more old school roguelikes. Uh, and you guys can, saw that, that I could I could hang on to ledges. So another point in the Spelunkiness, as it were. Um, but lots of lots of traps, really cool traps, and we'll just uh, try to kill. Okay, that was very done very quickly. Um, so yeah, a lot of lot of traps like that, <laughs> um, which instant death. Um, so now that we've died, 
Okay, now it has a little bit more smell. Still has that coffee taste or smell to it now that it's warmed up a little bit. Which it's a black it's a black ale, so. Yeah. It's smooth. There's not a lot of flavor to it, which is disappointing. It's still really bubbly, kind of fizzes on the tongue, which I like. That's why I like Hefeweizens, is they're usually a little bit more carbonated. Big fan. I would, if this wasn't so hard to find, and expensive, was a little bit expensive. Um, I drink that every day. It's it's like a lighter, it's a, like a lighter, more subdued Guinness. Um... Much like Magisite, which is another game that I, th I think I mentioned, um, enemies can kind of clusterfuck you, at least in this build. Um, so it's it's important oop, to kind of um, not let them get you know around you. Um, and obviously, we need a key to open this, um, and we should spend our uh, affinity point. And I will continue to do defensive stance because. Um, despite having not used it, I think it's actually pretty good. So, we'll let that slime, hopefully, kill itself. I wish there was a way to attack down, and maybe there is with with spells. We can't actually attack through things, that's, a dis that's disappointing. Um, so he gets to live, that slime. Um, and you, I really, again, the music, the sound effects, really, really... Excuse me, apologies. Like I said, very carbonated, volcanic glass blade. New weapon. Huh. It's got a, a much shorter range. Hopefully we'll see how much... Oh, more damage. Oh, piranhas. Okay, so continuing on the Spelunky thing. Unlike Spelunky, we have a lot of health. So that's, um, that's pretty nice. Magic mapping again. And a blue potion, indigo potion. And we'll just... Oh, we can also do... We can't jump in the water, um, which is a problem. And I, I can't really get up. Oh, okay. Uh, I forgot about the, the latching on. So, a little like Spelunky if we had the, the, if we had the climbing gloves. Cool, okay. I, I spent about 30 minutes trying to test th some things out. Um, and I, I like how you can kind of jump on enemies. I really wish there was a way... Oh, it, uh, it actually caught him on fire. Um, that's, that's cool. Um, I think we'll, we'll stick with the sword. Um, because I, it has a, a better range. But that's, that's cool. Uh, a nice variety. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try the, the, the lady. Uh, I'm not very good at this game, unfortunately. I, I really want it, want to be. Though, this is a game that's very much like, you know, right up my alley. So we do have a bow and arrow, and we need to spend our attributes. Uh, shadow, enter stealth mode by holding down. I imagine enemies kind of go by us. Um, daggers have a higher critical chance. We don't have a sword, we have a dagger. Enable strafing while drawing a bow. I actually think that's going to be really important. Um, we can't jump. But we can we can move and we can't change our direction with the bow, but that's okay. And this actually reminds me. And there are shops, and much like Spelunky, uh, which we continue to uh, bring up in this whole discussion, um, you kind of can kill shopkeepers, and it will uh, not go well for you, shall we say? Do not kill shopkeepers. Um, she doesn't look like she can actually hang... Oh, there she goes. Um, so you need to jump up and be holding the direction. She obviously also has less health. Um, which, you know, she's a ranged character, so that, that you know, makes a little bit of sense. But um, And we'll go through, and we'll just be careful. And we can attack, which is nice. Uh, that is kind of a hallmark of, again, Spelunky. And we can run through spikes. Again, a hallmark of Spelunky. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm saying Spelunky. Oh. Oh, God. These things are my bane. Um, I, I hate 
okay. Uh, did it, I hope everyone saw that screen shake. There are bosses. Um, I've I've only seen and we died. Um, I much prefer the uh, the warrior because he has more health and he hits harder. Um, I think my problem with the the, the archer lady is that I, I kind of want to. And if we hold it down, we have a higher uh, attack chance, which is, you know, cool. Um, but yeah, I, I think I just get it in my head, and we can, you know, we can buy things. We don't have any money, um, so. The controls are really nice. I, I don't think I've mentioned those yet. Uh, but they're what you'd expect. Um, having everything kind of mapped on the D key. You know, I, at first I was like, oh, it's got nothing but D key controls. That's unfortunate. It's like, or the D pad, sorry, the D, D key. Yeah, I'm a gamer, man. I play. Oh, you are still alive. That is unfortunate. Um, not, you know, not because you're you're bad or anything, little guy, but because you're, you know, wanting to punch me in the face. And I don't necessarily appreciate that. So I obviously haven't seen the key. There's also a damsel. And I don't know what that does for you, but there are ladies you can... Oh. And much like Spelunky, I end up dying to the spikes every single time. And it looks like the third guy is a mage if I go by the, the, the little opening vignette. He seems to have a majory hat. Um, which is cool. Obviously, you know, that's the, those are the, the, the three typical adventuring types. I'm a, I'm a big nerd. I love d and I've played D&D almost all my adult life. Actually, all of my adult life up to this point. <laughs> um, started when I was eight, so I, I have a, a, a fondness for, for it. That's a new enemy. And just like all roguelikes, I hate new enemies. Oh, that's okay. It poisons. Um, that is pretty intimidating. Poison is bad. And there is fall damage. Uh, again, like Spelunky. So, I, I, guess, I guess the best way to put this is it's like Spelunky meets Magicite. With a little bit of Chasm thrown in. Um, unearthly. Base lard. Very fast attack speeds. Sure. Let's try it out. Um, there we go. Very, very fast, as it said. I guess this is very low um, damage, though. Aw, oh, we actually knocked it down. I love the death animations. Every everything about this game, I, I think, is really presented very well. And that's, you know, a a definitely a big selling point. It's free right now. You can go and play it and show me how bad I am at the game. Um, and I won't feel too bad about it. I, I really like this. I really hope to see some really cool improvements and see just exactly what... Oh, uh, the stupid... Um, we can attack in the air, but, you know, much like uh, Magicite, it is not necessarily a good idea. Artisan Wooden Club. Um, no, I think we're okay. I don't know if you can sell items, I guess that's something that we should look at. And obviously there are puzzles, which is cool. I, I like how you can, you know, not jump on, you know, you can walk through spikes. Oh, and that was totally one of those awful, stupid things. I hate them. I, I haven't seen a way to heal yet, um, which I guess is a problem. Ooh. And I totally see what they were trying to do there. Okay, we just gotta be careful. There we go. We'll just do it like we'll just do it like Spelunky, man. I I love the Spelunky influence. And I would be really really surprised if the developers came out and said no, we didn't, we weren't in, inspired by. And that was a, a spike trap, I believe. weren't inspired by Spelunky. I would I would uh, find that very hard to believe. And I I saw. Oop. There is the way down, so I think we'll just do that, because I've never tried it before. Um, I, I think the damsel is how you heal, but I have no way to know that for sure. This is a really easy drinking beer. I find a lot of dark beers have that gross, not- Oh, okay, we have kamikaze enemies. 
That's pretty scary. And we killed him, and we're just going to have to avoid this, unfortunately. I don't know if we're gaining XP. I suppose that would be good to see. But it doesn't seem to be that we are. So I'm not exactly sure how you raise affinities. I wish I, I did know, because I really want to spend some time with this, this game. Uh, it is definitely hard. If you want a hard game, this is definitely the game for you. Or, you know, um, okay. Scroll of jump. Let's see what this does. Imbues the reader with the power to jump incredibly high once. Hmm. Maybe it goes here? I don't know. Interesting. Uh, we should put our boots on, though. Does that actually impact our ability to jump? Oh. I really don't know how we didn't take fall damage there. We should have. Hmm. Okay, that is that crazy-ass exploding thing. Ooh, there we go. Oh, we died. We'll give it one more go. It's very addictive. It's just like Spelunky in that regard for me. Um, I'm terrible, terrible at Spelunky. But... The reason I don't play it is because even though I'm terrible at it, I will want to play it forever, and I'll be like, one more, one more level, one more level, and that's a sign of a good roguelike. It's it's part of what a lot of my compatriots have called the, the loop, and I, I think that's an accurate kind of, of description for it. Okay, that didn't do us any good. Uh, we should, you know, use our, our noggin to uh, kill some things. It's 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 crazy because I generally prefer ranged classes, but in this in this setting, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not smart enough to have figured out how to use the ranged stuff yet. And I love the wall hanging, and I, I love the, the delving aspect. Um, and, and Delver is definitely another game that I I can see going here. And it's, it, it is dark, but if you guys read that uh, cap, Greatly increased to maximum life, glowing hard cap. Uh, I actually thought that increased our, our player, I guess what you could call lantern. And I'm pretty sure, I, I, I found this game through some other LPers doing reviews of it. And I, I think this is going to pick up steam. I think this is going to be a really popular game uh, as production rolls on. Um, so I'm, I'm hope ah, it jumped on me. One more time, one more time. See what I told you. I've, I I played this like I said for about a half hour before uh, I I you know just I, I did my sound test and then I was like okay well I'll just you know I'll I'll play around and, and see how the controls work and then I was like okay well you know I I died on on like oh okay that is the damsel right there we have to go save her and it looks like uh, when you encounter enemies and I think we have to. Traps, by the way, do exist, and they are uh, very scary. Um, so when we encounter enemies, last I saw, um, she'll run away, and she'll jump around, and she'll hide, and we died. Um, so, as you can see, I'm not very good at the game, but hopefully you guys got a good indication of what this was. I really like the maps. Well, I didn't really talk about that, but it's a map. Um, so hopefully you guys... We'll give this a try yourself. It is completely free, so there's no reason why you shouldn't, other than time, I suppose. But make time. It's a good game. Even in this early alpha stage, I, I quite enjoy it, and I'll probably play it for another hour and a half to two hours after I hit the end record button. So, this has been Indie Brew, guys. As always, thanks for watching.